Hello, this is Professor Srikant Karnevar. In this video clip, we will learn about Budapest Treaty. Budapest Treaty is for international recognition of deposit of microorganisms. There is another Budapest Convention is there. It is related with cyber security. But as far as our syllabus is concerned, we will learn about Budapest Treaty, which is related with the deposit of microorganisms for the purpose of patent procedure. Budapest Treaty, it was signed in Budapest. It is the capital of Hungary on 28th April 1977. And from 9th August 1980, it was came into existence and later on for so many times it was amended. Of course, this treaty is also administered by WIPO, that is World Intellectual Property Organization, same as that of our TRIPS agreement or same as that of our previous agreements. This treaty allows deposits of microorganisms in an international depository authority. It is uh, just a kind of international depository authority. And this kind of depositories has been established due to this Budapest Treaty. Say, for example, when an invention involves microorganisms, it is completely describing the said invention in the description to enable third parties to carry it out. It is usually impossible. For example, a scientist who discovered one microorganism, say, for example, bacteria which can solubilize silicon. And if suppose he is willing to take a patent of that bacteria, he need not to go along with this bacteria to different countries. Simply, he can deposit in any recognized international depository authority in any country. So he can take advantage of that kind of his biological material. This treaty ensures that an applicant, that means a person who applies for a patent need, need, need not to deposit the biological material in all the countries where he wants to obtain a patent. Uh, here you may observe such kinds of international depository are uh, working. Here it is just like in a bank. In bank we are putting the cash and that cash we can withdraw from different countries. Similar to that, we have to deposit our biological material in any of the international depository and in different countries you may seek for patent. These deposits are made at an international depository authority in accordance with the rules of this treaty, uh, which is in, mentioned in article number 7 of this Budapest Treaty. And this, as of uh, July 23rd of 2019, there are 47 international depository authorities are present in worldwide. Now, uh, let us look at what can be deposited. If there are several scientists, they are working on microorganisms, some are working on bacteria, some are working on the fungi, some are working on the plasmids or bacteriophage. But here, the international depository authority it is accepted the deposits of biological material, which doesn't fall in the critical definition of these microorganisms. That means any scientist who is working in the field of biology, he can store his biological material. Say, for example, bacteria, fungi, eukaryotic lines, some plant spores, or genetic factors, or DNA. These things can be stored into that international depository authority. However, you can store also that is yeast, algae, protozoa, hybridoma or some cell organelles also you can put into this international depository authority. These are the examples of things you can store in international depository authority before going for the patent application in different countries. Now look at the what is the importance of Budapest Treaty. This is an international convention which governs recognition of microorganisms, biological culture deposits in 
officially approved cultures collection for the purpose of patent application in any country in any inventor inventor means what any scientist or any researcher it is required to deposit the strain of microorganism in a recognized depository which assigns a registration number if suppose we are going to the bank and that bank gives us account number similar to that this international depository authority assigns registration number to the deposited microorganisms this number needs to be quoted into that patent application obviously a strain of microorganism it is required to be deposited before filing a patent application these samples of strains it can be obtained from any depository for further working on the strain there are many international depositories in many different countries now look at where this international depository authority exists very recently that means on the 18th july 2020 in india new depository has been approved by wipo and indian patent office that is national agriculturally important microbial culture collection which is located in uttar pradesh another depository which is located in maharashtra that is mcc that is microbial collection culture collection and mtcc that is microbial type culture collection gene bank which is located in chandigarh if you look at the world till 28th july 2020 there were 48 such authorities in america there are this Uh, in united kingdoms there are seven four in republic of korea three in china india italy and united states of america two each in australia japan poland and this is the present status of this international depository what is the summary of this in maharashtra there is microbial culture collection which is located in pune in uh, another part of india that is at chandigarh that is mtcc that is micro microbial type culture collection and gene bank and recently that is naimcc that it also works under this icr this exclusively for nationally agriculturally important microbial culture collection now what are the advantages of this international depository authority so you may just uh, look at towards these pictures it stores microorganism for patent purpose of course it is for long term storage of microorganisms furnishing of the samples as per the requirements creates the environment of good microbial practices identification and characterization of the samples it gives accession number to the samples of course it also maintains the secrecy of deposited microorganisms afterwards it these the international depositories this also gives training in it protects it keeps your secrecy of your products and it protect the environment and proper transportation of the samples it can be done by this international depository authority now what is the conclusion of this uh, uh, budapest treaty this budapest treaty allows to establish international depository authority for the conservation of microbial population this culture collection center not only stores the valuable or microorganism but also stores other useful biological materials for which are used in research in agriculture in industry and pharma sector every day new microorganisms are being discovered this idea it provides platform for the storage of these bacterial strains in very pure form preventing loss of biodiversity this stored bacterial strains can further be utilized for research purpose and for other purposes to convert culture collection centers into an idea it idea it requires huge financial support and infrastructures this budapest treaty gives provision for interstate deposition of microorganisms in idea valuable bacterial strains found in countries where there is no idea it can be deposited in idea of other countries say for example the scientist who is located in bangladesh and he is supposed willing to apply for the patent of that microorganism 
you need not to go to the different countries that as like uh, america or russia or uh, another countries he can simply come to the india he can place his uh, culture or his product safely into this any recognized inter, uh, id laboratory maybe in our pune or maybe in chandigarh and he can apply for the further further patenting procedure now what is the threat for this idea it is important to understand that uh, there may be the misuse of this microorganism may take place as ida stores both pathogenic and non pathogenic bacteria this pathogenic bacteria could be used as making as biological weapons that is a great threat and in our upcoming years more and more countries will ratify this budapest treaty this is all about budapest treaty thank you for watching this video